This month marks a year of living in a pandemic-ridden, socially distanced world. Author Laywin Pham captures this in her new book, Outside Inside, a children's story. She joins us now to talk more about this. Good morning, Laywin. Thank you so much for being with us. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, so when did you start chronicling the last 12 months, and how did you do so? Well, the book was, uh, it came about um, during the early days of the pandemic, I want to say about four weeks into it, we were, uh, everything had changed and it changed so quickly. And uh, the way I always process things is I, I turn them into books and I started to record all these small acts of humanity and kindness that we were experiencing early on. Things like uh, neighbors going shopping for one another, mm -hmm. uh, children putting signs up in windows, teddy bear hunts in neighborhoods where people would put teddy bears in their windows. Um, and they were just, they were such beautiful moments that I knew that we were going to forget. And I, I just felt the need to, to capture all that, as well as all the turmoil that was going on indoors, where our lives had changed, where children were going to school at home, where people weren't able to go to work. Um, and I, I, I wanted to find a way to, to bring all of that together mm -hmm. into, into one book, sort of as a time capsule, so that we could all remember that time um, clearly, as we're even going through it now a year later, which seems crazy to me. Well, I mean, you talk about the turmoil that many of us have lived through. I'm going to run through some of the numbers to remind us uh, where we are. Some people don't need any reminders because they've lived through this. To date, there have been 527,000 deaths in the U.S. In Texas, that number is just over 45,000. So we couple that with record unemployment, unprecedented mental health issues, and something that is, is very close to me, this generation that has lost an entire academic year. How were you able to get past this pain and look for the light? You know, um, I'm hoping that this book is going to help a lot of people get through um, that time because those are some terribly heavy numbers that you just that you threw out and that those are numbers that occupy our brain all the time. And um, for children to be absorbing this, I think a lot of kids have questions about this past year and they don't know how to talk about it. Um, and I think this book, uh, Outside Inside, it's a picture book. It's, it, it allows them to enter into a conversation with an adult, with someone they trust, to get more of an understanding of what happened in a way that uh, is palatable to them, that they can, that they can uh, easily do um, and easily understand. Um, and I'm hoping that that's what this book will be able to, to do for people, is, uh, for, for children anyway, is to be able to um, connect in that way, to be able to uh, uh, find, a, find a way to communicate what it is that they were feeling this past year through the pictures. It is pretty incredible how, how much power a, a children's illustrated book has. Uh, not only, I mean, if many, my children are teenagers, but I can remember reading to them when they were little kids. And as an adult, as a parent, you learn from that book to uh, and, and then convey those lessons, uh, that sense of hope to your little ones. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that that's what people will be able to take away from this book. It's, it's a very hopeful book, um, and it's, it's, not, it's not heavy in the sense that you would imagine a book about COVID is. In fact, it's not even about COVID. I don't think I ever even mentioned the words COVID in the book. It's really just a collection of, of the amazing things that humans were able to do, that, the ways that we found humanity during a time where humanity was, was lacking, where it was hard to, yeah. hard to struggle through. It's, yeah, we can't remember uh, what was... Some of what was good in this last 12 months. Finally, uh, before I let you go, you've got another book coming out, Itty Bitty Kitty Corn. Tell me about it. I do. I'm going to show it to you because it's so funny. This is Itty Bitty Kitty Corn. It's as far as you can get from outside, inside, and imagine. Um, it's about a cat that wants to be a unicorn. It's written with my best friend, Shannon Hale, and it's really just if you're looking for something to escape, if you're looking for a moment of happiness and joy um, um, and to sit down and read with the child, that, that is the book for you. Itty Bitty Kitty Corns. Oh, so much year. fun. And, and if you don't have young children, I always say, why don't you buy a couple of copies and, and donate them to your local public schools? That's what I do now. So that's just, that's wonderful what you're doing. <laughs> uh, Lewin Pham, the book is called Outside Insight. She also has uh, the other one, uh, Little Itty Bitty. Itty bitty kitty corn. Thank you so much for joining us. It's great talking to you. Thank you so much for having me. Have a good morning. You too.